if you're planning a wedding during this pandemic, you can never be too cautious, whether it's giving out masks to your guest or passing out hand sanitizer. You have to put safety first. Jennifer Prince is the founder of the Hill City Bride Wedding Blog, and she's here with a couple of tips to make good hygiene fun. Thanks for joining us. Yes, I'm glad to be here virtually. I'm it's all safe though, so which is what we're talking about today. Yes. And you yeah. mentioned earlier that there's this idea of having a station full of supplies that people can grab. So how, what do you call it? How does it work? What does it look like? Okay. Well, obviously COVID is a concern, but people are still proceeding with weddings as they're allowed with the gathering limits, which I think just changed today. They just upped a little bit, but you still want to reassure your guests and have them feel safe and secure. So having a sanitization station at your wedding is a really good way to just have people feel comfortable and to also just put supplies at their fingertips. So we can go through and talk about what your table could include. Yeah, so we actually have a picture popped up and it looks like um, you have the hand sanitizer, like a, and even like little flowers and a nice sign. So it's like an, another way to sort of add decor, it seems like. <laughs> Yeah, it really is. So, um, yes, and, and there are things like I have, um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to put one together while we're here, but this is a little sign that was um, hand lettered by allegraphy, photography, and design. And I want to kind of stress that your sanitization station, it needs to be functional, but just like every other element of your wedding, it should also be beautiful. So I suggest having a cute little sign and also, like you mentioned, to have some flowers. These are by Floor by Heather, but this just gives you a little bit of a backdrop, a place that it kind of draws people attention to so that they yeah. can be like, oh, what's going on over here? Pretty. So, I mean, you know, beyond just supplies. So, um, and a few other things uh, that you can include too are, and I would obviously suggest, this is just my opinion, but this is disinfecting spray and you can put things out with labels on it, but I would encourage you to just get like something clear and right. just again, make it really pretty so that people can know what it is, but it also looks really pretty on your table mm -hmm. because, you know, if you put disinfecting wipes out and they've got the big yellow Clorox label on it and it, it just doesn't look as pretty as your decorative bottles too. So along with some spray so that people can clean off their tables or a surface that um, you know, they may have touched or a lot of people touched and they want to go ahead and clean off. You can have your, um, uh, your spray and then just paper towels. You could use a paper towel holder if you wanted to, but I just took some of the half size and just ripped them off so that I can kind of make my station a little bit cute. And of course, like you mentioned, face masks. Are <laughs> yes. So you could not forget people, those. Even like how many of us have been at the grocery store and we walk up and then we're like, oh, I forgot my mask and you have to go back to your car. Or you see that they have them and you go ahead and grab a disposable mask. So you can have disposable masks. Yeah. Um, one thing that you may not have thought about are gloves. So if you wanna just put a few pair of gloves for those people that are especially conscious about it, because I mean, we'll all admit, we all have different fears. We all have different right. immunities and things like that. So just having things that for max comfort level would be really good. Um, and then also hand sanitizer. So you could have your pump and I got this, I think just a target or something uh -huh. like that. You get cute little sanitizers like that too. So then you can buy a big bulk bottle and then pour this in here. And I'd also say, depending on the number of your guests, um, what the cap is, just say you get married in a couple months and the cap is 50 or hundred, you wanna maybe have one of these for every 20 to 25 guests. So if you have a hundred, you want to spread them out and encourage that social distancing and also just not crowd your station and also have somebody that's responsible for keeping it well stocked because as the bride, uh, you don't want to have to worry about like, oh no, we're out of face masks. If you designate a few people to curate those stations for you and keep track of that, that would be really helpful too. So Jennifer, thank you so much. We appreciate yeah. it. This looked amazing. Yes, yeah. I love it. And if you want to see more from Jennifer, you can go to her blog, hillcitybride.com. All right. Thanks. Bye.